hello my fellow og so recently i was able to design this flyer you see on my screen and look i thought it wasn't going to be possible to recreate this in canva but look when i started doing this i realized that it was actually easier than i expected and today i was just you know having planned on making a video but i just thought nah the best thing i can do today is to actually teach you how you can also design the same thing inside of canva and that is what we are going to be doing right now so if you are interested don't go anywhere let's dive into canva and let's get started Hey everyone, Benjamin here, a verified Canva expert based in Ghana. If this is your first time on this channel, look, I think subscribing to this channel qualifies you to be an OG. And if you're an OG, look, I salute you for the continual support. So yes, let's get started. Right, so this is the design we are going to be creating. And what you will need to do is you need to make sure you're using the dimension 1080 by 1350. Okay, so that's all you need to do. And I'll just click on a plus icon for a new page. Okay, so you can see we have this over here. Nothing has been done. The first thing we are going to do is to press R on our key board to add the shape okay then i'll just pull it down something like this duplicate it click away and duplicate it and position this one also over here duplicate duplicate okay so now we have four different shapes so i select all and reduce the size to something like this okay then i select it and pull it down and i'll also pull this down come to the third one and pull it down and the fourth one and also pull it down so we have this okay now what we are going to do is to change the colors of the shapes okay so let's do that i just select the first one come into my colors and i can choose any color at all I already have these colors in here so i just select the second one choose the blue third one choose the red fourth one i can just leave it as yellow or choose any color at all but i think yellow is still fine right okay so now that we've done that what we are going to do next is to select all of it and duplicate it okay and i'll just position it here then i select this and drag it down here select this do the same thing the third one will do the same thing the fourth one and also do the same thing so you can see how easy this looks now that we've done that what we are going to do next is to add our images because we need to make sure that our design is looking very sweet so take some time if you're on the free version of canva you don't have to be on the free version of canva there's a link down there that can help you to use canva pro for free okay but if you're on the pro version of canva you would have to spend some time looking for the right images you want to use. so let's do that right now okay so i'll just come into photos okay and in photos what i'm simply going to do is to go into my recently used photos and i can just go through and i'll just speed the whole process of me trying to find my photos okay so that we don't spend so much time on this video all right so you can see i've been able to select four photos i want to use and the next thing we are going to be doing is to remove the background of my photos and make sure you also have the background of your photos removed okay so let's do that right now so i'll select the first one come to edit photo and all i need to do is to click on bg remover very sharp so select the second one bg remover extremely how come this is taking time Hurry up. nice you know sometimes i think you have to sync to canvas so that it gets to do things quickly so i may be singing for the third one okay so i come here if it's delaying what you need to say is okay it was fast enough <laughs> all right so you can see all our photos have been removed and this is another feature of canva pro and like i said there's a link in the description box below all right all right okay so i'll just crop it you know like you can see over here just crop it move it to the top over here now make it bigger okay then i would position it somewhere here okay then i'll just crop her like this and crop her like that so that she just fits into the shape okay something like what we've done over here i'll do the same for this lady also over here so i'll select her make her bigger almost the same size position her here okay then i will also crop her and make her bigger more and crop her you can see what we are doing we have this um muslim you know she's very pretty we will also make her bigger okay i really like the smile i don't know she has some beautiful smile just in case you know her just let her know african gig is looking for her i just want to be friends with her yeah so i will crop this also right here and i'll crop this also over here and we have the fourth one which was i think this this is a smaller image so i have to make it bigger okay somewhere here um if it becomes blurry all we just need to do is to change the image as simple as that you don't have to stress okay now nah, i think it doesn't match because all of these they are facing the camera okay so i just need to look for an image yeah i think this guy is also facing the camera and i think he's a good one i will remove the background okay then i will do the same thing so i will just crop him bring him here and make him bigger okay so bigger 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 
have you watched the Super Mario movie? I really, really loved it. If you haven't seen it, look, I think you should see it. Alright. That's a go. This video is sponsored by nobody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right so you can see what we have done over here very very sweet now this is what we are going to do next we are just going to duplicate these shapes we have over here okay and position it on top then you know just uh increase the size like that or i'll just duplicate the same position it here okay then change the color to blue then duplicate it change the color to red then duplicate it change the color to yellow <laughs> Uh -huh. all right then we are going to apply gradient to it so this is what we are going to do what you need to do is to make sure you have your color selected come to gradient the second color make sure the color is transparent and make sure you are choosing the how is it called the linear gradient okay so you can see the gradient starting from the top to the bottom but we want to make sure it's rather starting from the bottom to the top so we come to position and we'll change this to 180 degrees okay like this and you can see how beautiful it is so we'll do the same for all of that so you know i have the gradient here already because of the initial design and i will just make it 180 do the same for this come into gradient select color come into position and i'll choose 180 for it and i'll choose the same for this as well come where into color i'll apply the gradient then i come into position and i'll choose 180 for it as well so this is what we've done at the moment so now let's take a look at our initial design so we can see that there's this kind of white stuff that is blending the white section over here and that's what we are going to do so we are going to go into element and search for some clouds or some smoke something like that okay so yeah so i'll come down here and i'll just come into element and element i'm just going to search for clouds okay so it can be clouds or you can search for smoke okay, depending on what is going to work for you yeah. okay so you can see there's so many options over here so i'll choose this options and i'll position this here okay now let me bring it down here first and i'll duplicate it position it on top duplicate again i want it to be thicker okay so that when i bring it here you know it will actually do the job well all right all right then you can see some of the cutout parts are shown so i can duplicate and position this somewhere here okay you can also duplicate again and maybe bring it somewhere here so you can see what we've done and then select all of them like that and use ctrl g to group okay so now you can see they are all one element and yeah this is what we wanted to do so now that we've done that the next thing we are going to do is to add our text okay so let's do that quickly and i think with this i'm not going to really spend too much time because the most important things are what we have done so what we are simply going to do is to add our text the date the time and all of those things okay so i'll come here and i'll select my text come here and paste it over here as simple as that if you want you can um use the contrast okay you can apply the contrast principle of design by making some of your text stand out so that it catches the attention of anyone who is going to read all right then what we are going to do is you can see we have the dates the, some lines the time line the company name location website and the website icon i'll select all of that paste it here so you can see what we have been able to do so what we can even do is we can move this up a little bit uh -huh, so that the text is actually showing well then the last thing we want to do is to add the names of our speakers okay so what i simply did was i will just zoom in a little bit more duplicate this text and position it here so i'll come to effect in effect i'll come to background the roundness i'll choose zero okay 11 is cool and the color of the background will be the same color as what we have behind the person okay so i'll just say julia julia mills okay that's the name that comes in mind right now and i'll double click to snap the text duplicate okay now position this here the color i'll come to effect okay the background color and i'll choose the same blue this one will be um annie walker okay lovely javelin and i'll duplicate it position it here okay and this to be uh i want a muslim name i think with i don't know let me just see if i can find some muslim names online because i want to use an accurate name yeah so let me just see muslim names okay so we have aisha okay so aisha aisha sarah i'll just do aisha sarah so i'll come in here and this is aisha aisha sarah let me just do that 
okay and maybe i'll just add this guy over here hey there's one more thing we have to change the color to red so we'll come into effect the background the color we'll choose red then here I'll, i don't know the name malek just comes in mind malek williams Malik Wales. So the same thing. Then we come into the background and we choose yellow for it. If you can hear any noise in the background, pardon me. Okay, I think is yeah. So you can see this is what we have done and within i think 15 minutes of me recording it's like 15 minutes but editing will usually make it shorter so this is what we wanted to make in canva and before you go look let me just say that i really appreciate you for making it to this point of the video and i have a lot of canva tutorials i would want you to have so you can see on my screen there are some tutorials you can also check out if you want to level up your canva skills the name is benjamin always remember there is no limit to creativity and i should see you in my next video I don't even know what it costs. Huh. I hit the